Hey guys, was geht ab and welcome to this video. First of all, sorry for the little clickbaiting title, but I really wanted to make sure that you check out this video because the topic of today isn't really that sexy, but it's really important and it saved me a lot, a lot of time during the last month working with customers and sharing photos with friends. And we are doing that today using their collections and and I don't want to promise too much, but if you didn't know this trick before this video, you will write me an email a year from now and thank me for this because this is gonna change everything of sharing photos, exporting photos, posting them on Instagram and everything. It's just amazing. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are in Lightroom and these are some photos of one of my best friends, Tom, when we were in Cape Town together. And let's say I wanna share these photos with him. So uh, let's say I select these and then I create a new collection and create collection, name it Tom, um, Cape Town. And now the very, very important thing is that you enable sync with Lightroom CC. Now, if that doesn't show up, it's probably because it didn't sync your whole account with Lightroom CC. So uh, make sure that this is enabled. Okay, so here we have our little collection and all we need to do now is to click on public, make public and Lightroom will create a little link. This might take a while, but normally it's pretty fast. And then you can right click on this link and copy to clipboard and then for example go to whatsapp web and send it to tom or your customer or whoever you want to now if you click on this link you will open the collection in your browser and will see how for example tom will see this gallery right so he can click on the photos and go through them they are absolutely good quality everything fine now we also might want to make some settings right and we might want to see our other collections. So to do that, just click on this link here and delete everything that comes after adobe.com. So you wanna go to lightroom.adobe.com. And if you're logged in, you will find your libraries. There we are, and as you can see again, here you can copy the link and you can also make some settings here by clicking on this setting symbol and then this dialog will open. Now, first of all, you can select a cover photo, and, but that's not really important, right? You wanna go to share, and now you can enable, for example, a low download, so the people will be able to actually download the photos, show metadata, or you could also only show the photos you selected, right? And then furthermore, you can do slideshows and all these. You can delete it, of course. You can do slideshow settings. Um, it's just awesome. You can do basically everything you need. And as you can see now, he can download the photos now. And another really cool thing is, if Tom also has an Adobe account, he can actually like the photos or also comment them. For example, create photo, create photo. And then maybe um, also, could you um, darken it a little bit? Now, if we go to Lightroom, we will actually see that there was a comment made on this photo and we can also sort it by the last comment time. So you could also use this for making selections together. So you upload all the photos and he will select five photos that he wants to buy, for example, if he's a customer. And that's pretty cool, right? Because you see it instantly in your Lightroom. And now, of course, he wanted us to darken up the photo a little bit. So here you can see the comments and now we can just click on develop and take down the exposure a little bit. Let's say like this, go back to library and now you can see Lightroom is updating this one photo. And as soon as this is done, we can go back to the browser and reload it. And as you can see, it updated it instantly. The photo is updated and Tom now can download it again as a darker photo. I think that's absolutely amazing. It saves so much time. And of course, you can also open these photos on your phone. You can download them, um, post them on Instagram. It makes everything so much easier. It's just incredible. Okay, that's already it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope 
you are blown away as much as I was when I found out about that feature. Okay, thank you for watching again and maybe consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I try to upload every week a video that's gonna help you a lot with editing and photography. Also feel free to send this channel or this specific video to your photographer friends to help them as well and we can grow a little community. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time.